Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play that ending guitar part to We Will Rock You by Queen. So I started there with a little volume swell. What I did is I hit the 7th fret harmonic on the A string. And then I turned the volume up as that is ringing. So that rings for a while and that's what enters really, you hear that going on for a while. Until the big power chord comes in. The third fret power chord on the fifth string. Third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D and the G. All right, and now we go to the A power chord. And you gotta rotate between that and the third fret here on the E string. So it, So it's just between those two, basically, power chords. That's the first one. Down, up, then the third fret on low E street, and then back to that power chord. So we have this. All right, and then it comes back in with the third fret real quick. Then a quick down, up, and then the down, up on the chord again. Back to the third fret and the open string. All together. All right, and then you're gonna jump up one octave. So go up 12 frets from this bar at the second fret that you're doing already, up to the 14th fret. And you're gonna play that still with the open A string. You're gonna have this first phrase. So on out of this. So we went hammered all. The 16th, you hit that chord, hammer on the 16th fret on the D and the 15th fret on the B string. And then back. And then it's going to rotate between those two a couple times. And I'm just kind of hammering on, then picking, pulling off, pull off. So it's really just between those two chords, which is just an A and a D chord, by the way. So we have this. All right, now this next part is a little tricky. It's got a lot of hybrid picking in it. Let me play it for real quick. All right, so what's going on there? After you're holding that lat, this chord out of this, you're letting that ring, then you're going to pick these two strings, the open A and the 14th fret on the D. Same time you do that, you're going to hold the 17th fret with your little finger, pick that with your middle finger up here, and pull off to the 15th fret. Then pick the 14th fret on the D, which you already have, and then the 14th on the high E, so you're going to do that with a bar. Back to the 14 on the D, to the 17 now on the B, and back to the 14 on the D. So you keep going back to this 14. All right, from there you're gonna you're gonna pick the 15th fret. You can so you can grab that with your second finger there on the B string, and pick that with your middle finger. Pull off to the 14th fret the bar you have, you, you never let go of that bar, and then pick the 16th fret on the D, so we have this, and then pick the full chord with that A string in there, and then that's, this note you don't really have to um, hybrid pick, you can just pick the B string, pull off to the 14, and then the 16th on G. And then end it with that chord, just the A chord up there. So all together. All right, so still have this bar. Put your little, uh, we're going to do this part. All right, so this is a little bit easier. You can do, do it with a pick. 
you're gonna have that bar just put your uh, little finger to the 17th fret on the B string you're gonna play that twice and then to the 14th fret on the B I'm hitting the 14th fret on the G 17th fret on the B together three times and then I'm lifting up that 17 to play the 14 on the B then you have this common blues lick That's just the 17th fret bend on the B string to 14 on the high E string. Then 17, 14. You can pull off 17 to 14 there. And then pick a 16th fret bend there on the G. And then pick 16 without the bend to 14. And then back to that. Now the rest of it, you're pretty much just going to mess between this A chord and the, uh, the D chord. So we, at first we have this. So we just did the A and then pull off twice from that D back to that A. And then strum that A twice and let that ring. So we have, we're just to always have the open A in the bass. Kill it. And then we're just going to... So that's just starting with the A, pull off twice, back the A, and then pick the D, and pick the A. So we have this. And do that three times. Alright, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.